In January this year, I built myself a new video editing PC, and it is the one you can see in the background. As part of this build, I used the MSI X570A Pro motherboard, and I actually did a review on that board on this channel and shared it with you guys. Now, up till now, it's been working absolutely fine. And last week, I decided to strip the PC to do a few upgrades and give it a bit of a clean. As part of this, I have actually found something a little bit strange, and what appears to be my motherboard leaking. In this video, I want to give you guys a bit of an overview of what I found, try and explain what I actually think it is, and I want you guys to let me know if you have actually seen anything like this. Okay, so just to try and explain this one, as I said, I built this PC new in January this year, and I know for a fact at the time this board was clean. However, I stripped it last week to put in my new car to give it a bit of a dust in, and I was shocked to find these round marks have appeared on the back of the PCB board, and it looks like my motherboard is leaking fluid. Now, having had a closer look at them, it's clear that some form of fluid has been seeping out of the motherboard around these transistors. Not only that, looking around the back of the PCB, I was also seeing these little dots appearing on the back as well, almost like tiny dots of solder all along the tracks on the back of the PCB. Now again, these were not showing when I originally installed it. Now I wasn't sure what was going on at this point, whether I'd had an insect crawl across the back of the board or whether there was something going on, and after further investigation I did start to think I might have some leaky capacitors. Flipping the board round and having a look around the CPU socket and the area around the VRMs, nothing was untoward going on. Having a look at the board, there was nothing appearing to be leaking out, and this phenomena was not showing on this side of the PCB, and it was only showing on the back side around these transistors. Now, when you look at the position of these blotches on the back, it is clear that this is under the main VRM area on the back of the board, and after doing some investigation, it appears to be something one or two people have had before, and it seems like some form of silicon, non-conductive silicon, is actually leaking out of either the heat compound that they've used as part of the VRM heatsink or the heat pads, seeping through the vias in the motherboard and actually separating out on the other side. Now, if you don't know what a via is, a via is the bit of the circuit that transfers it from one side of the PCB to the other. Think of them as little copper tunnels that run from one side of the board to the other or from one layer of the board to the other but they are very, very small tubes, and it appears that they're acting a little bit like a capillary and drawing through this silicon through the board, and it is then spreading out on the other side. Now, as I said, I have done some investigations, and it appears this is harmless, and it doesn't actually have any problems, well, it doesn't cause any problems with the board, I should say, because it is a non-conductive silicon-based liquid. However, I can't say I'm 100% comfortable with it. One upside though is that it does come off with a little bit of IPA and if you actually get yourself a little cotton wool bud with some IPA on you can actually clean the back of the board off and it does virtually disappear. However it is a very very strange one and it is not something I have ever seen happen on any of my motherboards before. Now this motherboard the MSI X570A Pro is known to run quite hot especially on the VRMs. In my machine setup it tends to run around the 50 60 degrees in normal use, and they can get up to 70 when I'm actually doing some heavy editing. However, they're not running at a massively high temperature all of the time. Whether this is specific to the liquid or the compound or the pads that MSI are using, or it is as a result of the constant high temperature these VRMs can be under at times, I'm not really sure. But it is clear that there is some form of capillary action drawing this fluid through the board, and then it is actually spreading out as a blotch on the back. As I also mentioned at the start of the video, I'm also seeing some really strange dots appearing on the back of the PCB, mostly on top of the PCB tracks, and they're almost like tiny little dots spread across the back, almost like tossing sand across the pavement, and I don't really know what to make of these as well. Sometimes they will actually rub off, but on some parts of the board they're actually stuck very, very hard. Again, I don't believe this is any form of insect or anything like that, but it is clearly 
something some other people have had on the back of their boards as well. And there is one or two pictures of this happening, especially around the memory slots on the back of some boards as well. Again, mostly on MSI ones. Now, if you guys have got any ideas about either of these, whether it be this liquid that's appearing or these little dots appearing, please do let me know in the description of this video. From my investigation, it appears that the liquid is a non-conductive silicon from the heat transfer pads and it is basically being dragged through as a result of capillary action via the vias. As for these little dots though, they remain a total mystery to me and I really do not have an idea what they're all about. Now really the point of this video was to ask you guys, has anyone else seen this before? It did appear to look like my motherboard was leaking but from what I understand it is something that does happen and it isn't something to particularly worry about however I decided to clean it off to make sure the board was in the best possible condition it could be in. If you are someone else who's had this please do let me know in the comments of the video as well I would be really interested to find out if anyone else has had this phenomenon in the past as well. That is pretty much it for this video if you've liked what you've seen please do consider subscribing to the channel there's that button in the bottom right hand corner and don't forget to hit the little bell as well that's it thank you for watching please do subscribe and i will do another video again soon